That's a weird shadow there. Light, yeah. Hey, everybody. Hi. We need a sound check. See who's on there. Oh, yeah, it is different. It's very dark over there. It is dark over there. I don't like it. Three people. We aren't sure how many people are going to come today, given that everyone's probably preparing for Thanksgiving. Kim. But you can always watch later. Sound is good. Okay. Thank you. That's right. Hi, Summer. I just talked to her. Uh, let's see. Jay, what's happening? We'll give everyone a few seconds here. We're going to talk about swim toys today. And um, we, we were sort of talking about whether it would be... Hi, Melanie. Whether it would be swim toys or whether we were going to talk about, you know, all exercise toys for the swim spa. But that could be, like, sort of crazy. Yeah. So we're going to talk about a few things, including watches and counting of strokes, uh, which is something we've talked about before, but we're going to do it again. Chris, what's going on? We're going to talk about all that stuff again, and we're going to demonstrate. So, uh, Dan, watching from our 15D in Nebraska, that is nice. excellent. Okay, very cool, very cool. All right, we got 15 people on. Sound check is good. Yeah, we. I, th I feel like we did this last year, yeah. the, the day before Thanksgiving, and, and everyone was busy. So, um, so thank you for coming and checking in and watching. And if you could let us know where you're watching from, we always like to read that. Uh, the more comments, the better. All right, any questions, always pop on there. 20 people now hopping up, this is awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? And then chime in with any questions, you know, swim related. No one listens anyway. Chime in with any questions you want to. It doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> Sue, Indiana, what's going on? Dave, how are you? All right, everybody. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, Carol, just got out of my 15 DMPA. Oh, yeah. Very awesome. Very cool. All right, what do you want to start with? Um, well, we can show like a little art, do a little pan of the toys right, that we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about the kickboard, which we actually don't use for swimming very much, um, but it works awesome. I, I, you, you know my favorite exercise with that yeah, yeah. is the foot. But we can use it. For Absolutely. Swimming. No, we'll swim with it. Fins. Fins, goggles, swim cap is a must. My favorite center snorkel, pull buoy. This, I hate this thing, but we're gonna talk about it and show you. And of course, the, uh, this is completely skipping out of my mind. Paddles? The paddles for your hand, paddles. I couldn't come up with paddles. All right, 23. So first things first, just basic things. Like if you didn't have any of these toys and you just had goggles, that's great. Um, I personally really prefer to swim with a swim cap, especially in the swim spa. Even if I pull my hair back when that current is coming, it just kind of, any flyaway that you have is going to be all over the place. And it tends to just kind of get in the way. Um, so a swim cap really does help with that. And it does help, you know, with the current just kind of goes right over that. So in my opinion, a swim cap and goggles are the first things most, that you most get. definitely uh, if you're going to be swimming in this one spot and then the second two things that you should get are the center snorkel you want to hold it up yep and a full buoy actually so, if you want to I'll first two things <laughs> yep those are those are must haves and, and if you want I'll take this if you Hold that yep. and spin it around, it's on you. And then um, this is a swim snorkel. So. This is a center snorkel. Center snorkel. Not all swim snorkels are created equal. So I know that everyone is gonna hop on here and say, I've got the full face mask and this goes up like this, it works great. Here's the thing. Of all the ones that we have tried, I'm not saying that we've tried them all. I'm not saying that we've tried them all, but out of the, the more than three or four that we have tried, they, the one piece, the full face, while it's very easy to get on, they don't breathe real well, and they tend to put your chin at the wrong angle for proper swimming. That's where this comes in. There are, dog. the dog is running around the swim spot. So there are a couple of these. 
and I realize there's different kinds. This is the one that we like. There is one that really shaped like this, and it comes, if you look at it from the side, it really comes up and it goes along the back of your head. That is probably not the one you want in a swim spa because in a swim spa, remember, we're swimming in a box of water, so we're gonna move as much water as we can. There's going to be some turbulence, and if you're splashing or moving around, this one is gonna get it away from away from the top of your head, way up here, it'll be way out of the water and you won't end up sucking water in with this one. So the long one, and you'll see when you look at them on, you know, wherever you're looking at them, catch. When you see them wherever you're looking at, you'll see the one that's shaped like your head. You don't want that one for a swim spot. In a pool, it's fine, but this is the one we recommend here. And, you know, mind you that we've been doing this a long time and this is the one that we works well with. Now, this one here, it goes like this. So you put your goggles on, then this guy, right? And you, I realize you have a lot of stuff strapped to your face. A lot of beginners swimming with this will need a nose plug. We actually don't have one, neither of us use them. You know, you, you, you sort of get used to it and you can just shut that part of your nose off, your sinus off, and, and we don't need to wear that in order to, to stop the water from going in your nose. But when you first start with this, use a nose plug because it can be frustrating. Even for people who have been swimming a long time, when they try this in there, they immediately go down and take a big old snort of water and it's the opposite of fun, mm -hmm. okay? This makes swimming in a swim spot or anywhere for that matter. I'm not a born swimmer, I'm a weightlifter. And when we started training for Ironman and I had to learn how to swim as an adult, it wasn't easy for me. And this was something that I could work on the stroke and I didn't have to worry about my breathing. It took me a long time to get proficient. Uh, Mary looks like she floats like a leaf on the water and just always looks good. Even when she hasn't been swimming a ton, she gets in there and always looks great. And I feel like I look like a blender. All right, this will help. All right, so one quick note before we get started, we're gonna strap all that stuff onto Mary. The watch, we, we see this in the forum all the time on Facebook. We get asked about it all the time. Uh, this particular watch is a Garmin 945. Uh, it's a it's a terrific watch. So now what will happen is you have open water swim setting in here. Inside this building, we get no GPS. So if you went, if I took this and just hit open water swim and I was down in the ocean, which is very cold and not, you're not going to see me do that. Uh, you're probably not going to see me do that in the warm when I have this sitting right here. Either way, it will actually GPS and give you a distance of how far you swim. And it's, it's pretty freaking accurate. Inside this building, if you turn this on swim, a pool swim, it's not measuring correctly. It doesn't work that way. But what does work is if you put it in open water swim, and in here we don't have to turn the GPS off because there's no signal, it will then, because there's no signal, it will count strokes. And you can actually get more accurate the more you do it. So if you swim open water in a pool, use this, sort of train it so that it knows your, your, your turnover rate, and your stroke length, and then come to the swim spot, turn the GPS off if you're outside, and then put it on open water swim. It will give you a distance at the end, and it works pretty well for tracking your distance. It's not exactly accurate, but it's the best situation there is for swimming in a box of water, okay? Because there's no, unlike a treadmill in a swim spot, you can't just measure it based on the, the tread length and all that stuff, which is how a treadmill calculates your distance. Then it's known each revolution, how far you've gone. Okay? So this is different. I'm, I was just gonna say, I'm pretty sure that you can do the same thing on an Apple Watch. Um, I have not used my Apple Watch for swimming. Either. Because I, if I, if I, when I've calculated my swim, I've always used the Garmin. You want to turn for that? No. Um, but the, but the Apple watch I know does open water swim and you do, if you are outside, you do need to turn off the GPS. I just don't know how to tell you how to do that. Okay. Um, so and it didn't used to do that. Right. The first ones that we had didn't do that. So we always use this. And yeah. I think that the more new, the more recent one does. Yeah. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, so far, of course, now I've made my hands wet. Let's see Mary put on her favorite swim cap. <laughs> Master Spa's blue. 
I had a favorite swim cap. Those of you who were tuned in that day remember <laughs> Mary ruined it. She ripped it. And I don't know why. Her head is tiny. Okay, so. Swimming is such a. <laughs> gear intensive? Yes, and, but it's also so, you look so attractive. Wait till we get that snorkel put on there. Yeah. This gets amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around for a second. All right, so, uh, you wanna just swim without that yet for, at first? Sure. So now, when you're swimming in, a, in, in this is all swimming, pretend that there's a, a tennis ball under your chin. Okay, that's the angle that your chin and your head is supposed to be at. You're supposed to be flat in the water, chin is down, and the heels of your feet, obviously your heels of your feet, are breaking the top of the water. That's proper position in the water. So, like I was talking about on those full face swim snorkels, they tend to make your chin rise. When you're swimming, if your chin rises, your feet will sink, and you'll, you'll have a much more difficult time in the water. It's, you know, boats, swimmers, they go real fast like this, but if they're pushing through the water like this, they're working twice as hard and going half as fast. All right, it's much more uh, cumbersome, much more difficult to be efficient. I'm so, feeling very self-conscious. About we, what? We found out, Michael Phelps saw a video of me swimming and said that <laughs> I have Wait a second. much to improve on, and now I'm really nervous because- He did actually say that. <laughs> Uh, because it, what was he? It was talking about your your catch. Something about my catch or my stroke or something. Yep, he's a he, well, Michael. I was not there to defend myself. Yep. yep. Terry. Nor was I there to ask for assistance so, from him. I mean, if you're going to get swim <laughs> advice from so, anyone, it so be from Terry, him. So Terry is is the what, uh, one of the big boss men at Master Spas, and he came up. He said, "Mary, Michael Phelps was talking about you today. It was hilarious." And she was like, where is he? And he, he had already just left. So uh, she didn't get a chance to chew him out. But apparently he said he could fix that and we're gonna hold him to it if we can. All right, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I forgot all about that. True story. Okay, so let's swim a little bit. I guess if you're gonna be critiqued poorly by anyone, to be critiqued by Michael Phelps anyway is, is a treat, so. I mean, you can't, you know, he's Michael Phelps. He, uh, he's pretty good at this. Okay. So I'm gonna control it from back here, not from, I, almost, I fell over, that's what that was. All right, because it's a better viewpoint, I will turn this over. So this is what I'm working on over here. I'm not gonna work on the swim side. Mayor, what do you want it on? Low. Low 1515? Low 1010. Low 1010. I haven't done this in a while. Okay. So right now, this is a Challenger 15. No swim toys, goggles, swim cap, and we're on 10-10 low. She's not getting too close up front. Position is in the middle of the swim spot, as you can see. Pretty perfect. Looking good. Probably like 20, 30 minutes. Okay, so pause there. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get her to strap that, that swim snorkel on her, and then we'll try that from there. All right, we'll just leave the speed on here. And, you know, again, guys, um, a lot of times we'll have people, how can I say this without sounding like I'm making fun of people? I can't, I'm gonna make fun of people because I'm a jerk and everyone expects that from me. We'll have people come in and say, I want a wet test. And if, if we are able to get them in the water, they show up with no goggles. They say, oh, I'm a swimmer, and then they show up with no goggles. No one swims for real with no goggles, so you have to have goggles. And the swim cap feels good on your head, even if you have you know, no hair or a little hair, maybe not no hair, um, but if you have short hair, still gonna feel nice on there. Water's gonna slip around, it feels good. All right, so wear the swim cap in there and definitely wear the goggles. The goggles, every time you, you know, in a swim spot, especially in the beginning, every time you take a breath, you wanna come back down and you wanna take a peek where you are on that, whether you have the T or whether you have the soft tread on the bottom of your swim spot, you wanna recenter that, okay? So now I'm gonna pan and I'm gonna show you this. So, super attractive. 
okay? So it's actually I want you from the side. So see how far that is? The other one that wraps comes around right here and it would end right about there and it's gonna get water taken in, okay? Whereas this one works just absolutely awesome. Go ahead, Mayor. And swim, you know, just give it a little bit because I'm gonna talk and explain what's going on. So now everyone who is, you know, if you remember when you learned how to swim, Every time you breathe, you get messed up in a swim spa. In the, in the beginning, it's definitely the hardest part. So if you notice, Mary here, she's not breathing. She doesn't have to worry about turning her chin. Her chin is in the right position because the swim snorkel is in the right position. So it literally has to work, okay? And all she has to work on is her stroke. Perfect. See her heels are breaking? All right. All right, Mary, that was perfect. So now, okay. So if you guys remember the how to swim in a swim spot video that we did, it was, was that like the first one we did? I think it was, it was the first one we did. I went in stages and I showed you guys how to do this. So you first start with no toys, then you add, you know, either the, the snorkel, and then, uh, Steve, could you further describe the setting of 1010? Yes, I will. I'll go back to that, Steve. If I don't, if I forget, bump me again on there. Yes, I will. So, so now what we're going to do is now Mary, when Mary swam in here with just the swim snorkel and, you know, goggles and, and cap, you notice her feet are on top of the water. Well, Mary's a great swimmer. Her posture in the water is natural for her. I'm not. I'm a weightlifter. My feet tend to sink. I tend to raise my chin. Those are bad habits. Okay, and what's gonna happen is, as you get tired and it requires a swim spa, swimming in a swim spa requires a more significant core engagement uh, than it does swimming in a pool or a pond or a swamp or whatever. So what'll happen is, as your feet are starting to sink, it'll get harder and harder and it's, those muscles need to be trained for you to be really great swimming in here and it takes a couple of weeks and they will strengthen right up, but, it, I want you to, to get in there and try swim as long as you can with nothing, then add the swim snorkel, swim as long as you can, then add the pool buoy. Now the pool buoy, uh, wanna hold that up for a second, Mayor? The pool buoy is shaped, it goes right in between your legs and then you pinch it, okay? Now when you pinch it, you can still get a little bit of scissor kick, but you're not gonna be kicking big, otherwise it'll fall out. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring your feet up. So if you're swimming like this through the water, if these were your feet, it's gonna bring your feet up effortlessly. So now it'll really feel like you're gliding on top of the water. So now she doesn't have to worry about her posture in the water. Her heels are breaking. They're all at the top. It's effortless to do. She doesn't have to worry about her breathing, but she's doing the work, okay? This is, this, there's no tether going on here. It's just, Mary doing all the work, but she's taken a couple of the pieces of the puzzle out so that she doesn't have to worry about them. Now she can focus on stroke and getting exercise. So there are plenty of people. I'll wait till she's done. I'll get back as far as I can. There you go. That was great, Mary. So there are plenty of people that, that get a swim spot and they, they exercise and they get these snorkels and that's all they want. And that's perfect, okay? So you can go to whatever level you want. And if you have a, a, a challenger, like for me, the challenger swims plenty fast for me. Um, it does a great job. So these tools make it so that I could do, if I didn't have those swim tools when I'm not in shape, it'd be hard for me to swim for 45 minutes in there. Um, I'd have to stop you know, every, every few minutes and take a, catch my breath. There's no, there's no wall to turn around. There's none of that stuff. All right. So what that's going to do is when you use the pull buoy, the snorkel, the goggles, all you have to worry about is the exercise component and the catch and the pull. You're not worried about breathing. You're not worried about your feet. You're not worried about any of that stuff. And it, it, it takes a lot of the hard part of swimming crawl stroke for beginners out of the equation. That's the trick. Okay. That's what you want to focus on. So now, what do you got now? So now, <laughs> she's, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you look like a like a like an alien creature. So now she's got the pull buoy, the uh, paddles, the snorkel, everything. Yep, we can see it. Show us what you got. Now the paddles are really for strengthening. So they allow you to catch more water and it puts more strain on your upper body and your shoulders. So they're really more for strengthening. It may not be something you need for learning how to swim, but it might make your, your workout harder. And, and if it's a good fit, it's a good fit. And you can of course do drills with them as well. Okay. So she's got a lot of toys strapped on there. And as silly as it looks, it really works. It really works well. Okay, awesome. Now, you wanna take a break? Are you good? <laughs> so I don't know which one she's gonna try next, but each one has its own explanation. Okay, this thing, hang on a second. I need to explain how this works. Use this, uh, this is a... It's terrible, it's, it's terrible. It was invented by the devil. But even worse than this, is a, a band. Uh, the band, the elastic so band. So what that thing does, your ankles go in there, okay? And now it does give you flotation, but at the same time, you can't do this. You can't scissor kick at all. So you're, for me, I immediately drop to the floor as soon as I put it on there because it's a core strengthening thing. Yeah, that's hard to, did you get it on? Yeah. Jeez, you're, you're good at this. So, so now she's got all this stuff on. Now this one, the one that goes, the yellow one that goes around your ankles, if you think that you need that, you probably don't. And it's something that I hate that thing, but I, I, there was a time where I practiced with it every day and got really good at it, and it improved my swimming vastly, which is not easy for me to do. All right, let's, let's watch her again. <laughs> see how she's curving? Now, she has great posture, but see how her feet are, are going over there and over there? Well, now, she, now, of course, she doesn't do it anymore, okay? So that, what's happening there is she has to keep her midsection flexed up and tight, and that's gonna require more work, more effort to do that, where your feet, you know, she's not gonna get any assistance from her feet to stay in position. <laughs> it's actually funny to watch all that, all that crap on her. It just looks ridiculous. <laughs> There's so much stuff on you. Now, can you get the can you get the fins and all that stuff on at the same time? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think you need to. Cuz take the, the ankle fins are, the, the fins Yeah. Are meant to. Right. So let's let's explain them properly. Let's take all the lower body stuff off and just go to the fins. So now, the fins replace the pull buoy and they will give you lift on your feet. Okay, and obviously more propulsion. You're going to swim faster with them, but it's going to make it's going to tax your legs a little bit more. But you're going to be flying through the water. Okay. We mentioned this the last time, but the shorter yep. fins for the swim spot yep. are a little bit better. The big fins can make a big mess, and can if you're taller, yep. you'll be kicking those steps. So, which neither of us are. <laughs> Which ones? The paddles. I know you do. You love them. Do, do, do. Kenny. I'll, Kenny, hang on a sec. I'll address that. So now she's got fins, paddles, snorkel, cap. Now, if we want to, we could crank up the swim spa and she'd be able to work hard. All her muscles would be burning, but she'd be flying through the water but it's good training and all these things assist in, in perfecting your stroke and, and making everything work real well, okay? All right, okay, looks good, looks good. Uh, let me answer a couple questions here. All right, Kenny, 
Mary, do you have, uh, Kenny would like to know if you have any tips on not getting water up your nose without a nose plug, other than practice. Blow out of your nose. Yeah, actually, that's a that's probably the, the only I thing that I would. I don't do it all the time, but sometimes you'll start to feel like water creeping in, water and you just give a blowout. Blow out. Yeah. I don't I don't really know how to describe how to shut that off. <laughs> so try this, Kenny, and. I don't think I've ever tried to explain this properly before, so bear with me. When you're under, so put your your snorkel on, your goggles, put everything in there. When you, as soon as you get under the water, I want you to blow out, you know, get of your nose. Obviously, you have a snorkel in your mouth. Give a give a blow out of your nose, and then the same muscles inside your your nose and sinus that stop you from continuing that blowout are the ones you need to hold while you're doing this. And it's just going to be practice. Um, some people just get it in the first time, and some people it takes six months. Okay, so don't don't feel bad about it. But I would do that. Use the, the nose plug if you want to. Um, but just give a give a like a blow out a snort of air through from your nose, and then those muscles that you know, if you just do that for one second, the same muscles that stop that snort from going out are the ones you need to kind of clench to stop the water from going back in. And then while you're swimming, you're taking a breath in. And then Sue Olson said, try to hum. Absolutely, whatever whatever works. Yeah, yeah good one, Sue, thank you. So whatever works and then just, can, just continue to practice it. I realize it's very odd, very odd. But while you're swimming, if you feel it start to creep up in there, just give a, give a blow out of your nose yeah. and blow it out. And you're, you're obviously breathing in through the, through the snorkel. Uh, give that a try. Let us know how that works. Um, I know some, some people struggle with it and it's just, it's, it's a weird thing to control. Uh, we've been doing this a long, long time. All right. And I haven't then, just, I was just going to say, I haven't really been doing a lot of swim training. Yep. Um, but I'm, when I'm I, turning this on. When here. I was, um, swimming more in the swim spa, I liked to do toy intervals. So maybe start off with no toys really gentle, you know, gentle pace, and then, you know, the next five minutes, maybe add the swim snorkel, and then take away the swim snorkel, and then add the pull buoy, and then do both, and then it really breaks up the swim. It does if make it much more look, interesting, If you have yeah. a longer swim, or you're wanting to get a longer swim in, it just mixes things up. It, for me, it gave me something to look forward to. Um, and then one other thing, just to talk about, we can go back to this. Um, in a challenger, you have a low speed and a high speed on the third pump, and then your other two pumps are variable speeds, and they can go from zero to 25. Um, so another way to add some intervals is um, as you're adding more toys, like when I had all of those toys on, Here, we'll take that you're swimming kind of you're you're able to swim a little bit faster so as you for me when i was doing a little bit more specific training in i would increase or decrease the speed based on what intervals i i was doing so that when i said um low 10 10 i had the swim jet on low uh for this just easy session here and then the other two variable speed pumps I had on 10 and 10. That's ben will show you yeah, on the I'm screen. So I, I went back to Steve. This is for your question. I'm going to show you too. So this is a challenger, of course, and we still have the protective plastic on there. So when, 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 when Mary and I speak about the swim spa speeds, so you go to the workout first, manual workout, doesn't matter where you go. So this is your, your pump one or jets, it'll just say jets right there. Um, oh, I lost it. There you go. So right now, that's variable speed is on. So that's low, and then that's one, and this is all both VSP pumps. So if Mary says I want low 1010, that's low 1010 right there. If Mary says I want high 1010, you can hear the water, that's high 1010. That is nothing 1010. 10. All right. So that's all we're doing there. 
um, for my swimming. Stuck, yeah, he is stuck back oh. there. Leave him. It's good for him. I swim high 14, 14. I realize 14 is a very random number. That's what I like to swim at. And then, you know, the beautiful part. I can't. I can't let him be stuck. You can't let him be stuck? No. You want me to fix it? The dog, so my big, sweet, dumb dog went around and he's stuck and he can't seem to back his way out of the entire, okay. and we blocked the other side. Go <laughs> Where, did he go? No. Here. Keep. I'm okay if he's standing there. I thought his head was stuck. No, his head's not stuck oh. in there. I wouldn't let him. So go down there and pull it out there. All right. Okay. So that. Sorry. <laughs> so this is. Again, just so that you can see. Whoops. Right now we're on low 12 12. And you can adjust. I find that I always just adjust both both um, swim jets at the same time, the, the variable speed jets. I just think it's a cleaner. Um, I just think it's a cleaner swim, a little bit more uniform. Sorry, that was not very good filming. All right, okay. I'm switching back to Ben. Okay, kickboard's next. Yep. Okay, so now kickboard going to be great for just doing kick drills. I have fin still. Right there. That's it. It's perfect. Now, what I like to do for kick drills, I like to put the center snorkel on, no kickboard, and then just put it on, put, I put the main pump on low, and it's perfect for me to do those kick drills. So, but again, everybody's different. So, there's there's no, you know, what's one speed that works for Mary is not necessarily the right speed for me, which is not the right speed for you. And and we are not like Olympic swimmers. We were forced to swim and race uh, Ironman, and it sort of was, was probably like most people who race Ironman. The swim was usually one of the bigger concerns. Everything else, you know, we could muscle through, but the swim, you have to, it's like a golf stroke. You have to practice it. And these are all the toys that go into that practice, okay? So um, if you think that you're just going to get a swim spot and jump right in there, unless you're a great swimmer to begin with, there's a little bit of a learning curve, and sure. it's so worth it, though, okay, which I know all of you guys are seeing. So let's see. Questions. Questions, questions, questions. What do we got? How are we doing? We're time. We're good. All right. Ottawa. I'm just scrolling back here. We didn't show it. Yeah, we did. I think we got everything. I'm losing my mind. Yeah. So, do, 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 do. question, question, question. Do, 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 do. Everybody ready for Thanksgiving? At my house, my family, we do lobsters for Thanksgiving. Started off sort of as a joke, and we like lobster. I have to go pick up the lobsters next. Washington loving my new Trainer 19D. Ed Massey, good for you. What's not to love about a Trainer 19D? All right. Kenny's going to work on getting water up his nose. <laughs> not getting water up his nose. All right. Uh, Sue said try to hum. Thanks a million. Yeah, let me know how that works, dude. All right. Uh, can you override the 15-minute cutout at all? Tony, good question. No, you cannot. All right, so- On the, the trainer. On the trainer. Yeah. On the, tr well, it's not, yes. On the trainer, it's 15. They're, they're hot tub pumps, it's 15. That's a, a, a safety concern and that's how that is wired. So at 15 minutes, they'll shut off on the trainer series. On the challenger series, let me show you this. That is the main control that's gonna be uh, very, very similar in what it does for the H2X trainer 15. This is a Challenger 15. If you scroll down there, that second controller in the Challenger is the exercise end, so the swim end controller, and that one will go up to an hour. So in the trainer, 15 minutes is all you can do, and in a Challenger, you can only do an hour, okay? 15-minute intervals are great. 
<laughs> yeah, 15 minute interval. 15 Take that minute. 30 second it is rest. Great. Take the rest and turn it back on. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is the speed in this setting? Um, the swimmer speed. No way to tell that. Okay, but but the max speed of a Challenger 15 turned all the way up is going to be about a 120 per 100. Okay. In a Challenger. In it, did I say short? Yeah, I said trainer. trainer is like Challenger. I meant Challenger. 45, 145, 150. 150 for a, a trainer full speed. Um, we were turned up halfway. It was was not fast at all. Okay. Uh, Kenny Anderson, oh my God, I really want a kickboard. Oh, dude, get it. And oh. there's, there's other stuff you can do that's so good for your body with the kickboard. I don't use it for swimming. I use it for everything else. Um, and it's amazing. And you know, just, just so that you all know, any of these things can be purchased on Amazon as <laughs> everything. But yep, all or Swim Outlet has it all. Um, yep. So they're all really easily accessible. Nothing is crazy. Yep, yep, for sure. Okay, Kevin Wright, what's up, dude? All right, that's it. I think that's it, everybody. How are we doing? Perfect timing, actually. I think we're good with that. Yeah. So um, hopefully we will, as far as we know, we will be back in two weeks, which is Wednesday, December 7th. Um, we Pearl Harbor. Have, we don't know what we're talking about yet. Um, but when, so, when do we ever know what we're talking uh, about? Well, last week we, we did. We kind of had this... <laughs> plan for this week because we've had a lot of people ask. I, I meant it the other way. Um, so two weeks. Uh, we hope that everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving and um, enjoy time with your family. Enjoy the yummy treats and uh, we'll see everybody in a couple of weeks. Awesome. Awesome. And if you have any questions about any of these things or any other things about your swim squad, just put them here. We'll check, check the uh, comments later on tonight throughout the weekend. So. Where's the dog? I can hear him. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. It's not alive. It's not alive without a cameo from this guy. What's up, handsome? Say hi. <laughs> All right, everybody. See you later. Be good. We'll see you in two.